Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. You probably already know this, there is a new apex predator in the world of pickup trucks and it's right there. That is the 2021 Ram TRX and today I want to find out if it truly is better than that Ford Raptor. So in this video we're going to do some on-road driving and then we're heading into the mud. We're going to jump it, hit some whoops and I'll let you know how this thing handles. Okay everybody, we are just heading out here in the TRX on our way to the off-road park. But first, we're just out here on public roads and there's a lot to talk about with this TRX, not the least of which is how it drives. Um, but first, let's just go over all the specs. So the engine here, as you probably have heard, is the Hellcat. Now interestingly, they don't brand it as the Hellcat here on the Ram. Uh, Hellcat is, is specifically a Dodge thing. So they don't call it the Hellcat even though we all know that's what it is. So that is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 making 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque sent through an 8-speed automatic transmission. The same 8-speed that they use in the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Now, there is a difference though. Here in the Ram, we do have a transfer case. So you do have a low range ratio and uh, the T case is the same out of the 1500, but it's been beefed up. Everything in there has been made stronger to accommodate all of this raw power that comes out of here. The TRX is permanent four wheel drive. So you have three different settings. You have four auto, four high, and four low. No two wheel drive on this truck whatsoever. So you're always sending power to all four wheels. However, the power can split itself and uh, that is going to be dictated partially by how you're driving, but then of course by the drive mode. So there are eight different drive modes in this truck. Um, you can see me scroll through them here on the info cluster screen. And each one of those drive modes is going to offer a different power distribution. So, you know, in snow mode, you're gonna get a little bit more front wheel drive because you want, you know, the power going to where the weight is in the vehicle. In Baja mode, you're gonna get more rear wheel drive than front. Uh, in rock crawl, you're gonna get 50-50 power split. So yes, the truck is able to sort of send power where it needs to be. If you wanna talk numbers, this TRX is good for 8,100 pounds of towing. And let's look right here. Our truck today, has 966 pounds worth of payload, which is incredibly low for a half ton, but of course, this is an off-road truck, so you give up some of that payload rating to get that performance. Now let's talk Easter eggs. So first is this great identification plate. I wouldn't even call it an Easter egg, but it really is cool, and it's on every single TRX. Then on the bottom of this center console lid, you get this, so you get these really cool conversion charts, you also got a triangle up there, different functions for your calculator, some trigonometry that I don't, won't even pretend to understand. <laughs> but here's the coolest one, and this one is not subtle at all, is it? That is a scale showing a human, a TRX, a T-Rex, and a Raptor. <laughs> uh, Ram is definitely not being subtle about who they are targeting with this truck. And this is a pretty cool Easter egg on the bottom of your center console storage. Plus, if you want to see another one, underneath the engine cover, there's a T-Rex eating a Raptor. You can see it here. So what is all the off-road gear on the TRX? Well, there's a long list here, starting with 35-inch Goodyear 
territory all terrains and these tires were specially designed for this truck ram had a say in everything but especially the design so that sidewall design that's all ram to make sure it looked the part here on the trx so you're getting those tires the track on this truck is six inches wider than on a standard ram 1500 so you're getting those huge fender flares and that width is helping to give you that off-road stability so 35 inch tires is a huge component next are differentials so in the rear first of all you get a 355 rear end axle ratio and you do get a locker back there you can lock it up with the touch of a button now when you're talking about numbers 11.8 inches of ground clearance and what's really funny is approach departure and breakover are basically identical to the ford raptor i can throw the numbers up here and actually you know what right now why don't i just throw up this comparison chart so you can see how this trx stacks up to the raptor when it comes to off-road numbers there is another huge number here it's not horsepower it's weight this truck comes in at 6350 pounds it's seriously heavy now the reason for that is the frame has been reinforced 74 percent of the frame is actually unique to this trx because if you're going to do the things that this truck can do hit whoops at ridiculous speeds and jump in the desert you can't have your frame bending on you so ram had to beef up the frame and the only way to do to do that was by adding weight now last but certainly not least when it comes to off-roading we have to talk about the dampers here this is a set of bill steen or bill stein uh, active blackhawk e squared dampers and the word active is key that means the damping force is always changing so not only are the shocks monitoring a number of different parameters such as you know throttle input wheel position wheel speed um, and, and and adjusting based on that the dampers also adjust based on the drive mode that you're in so for instance when i put it into sport mode you can feel how much stiffer this truck gets and then when you just leave it in auto or especially when you go to something like baja mode you can feel how wallowy it is in the corners because it just gets so much softer there's seriously so much to talk about here guys that's just new with this truck now i've already got a walk around video up on the channel that goes maybe a little more in depth on some you know little details so you can go check that out if you really want the details but now we got to talk about how this thing drives so again we're just out here on public roads right now um, this is probably the understatement of the year okay 702 horsepower is insane <laughs> i think you already knew that now 702 horsepower in a 6300 pound truck is not quite as insane as you know that same power in a much lighter charger or challenger i've driven those hellcat models and they're truly bonkers this truck feels extremely quick but it also just feels so planted to the ground because of how heavy it is i was really amazed how it doesn't get squirrely that easily and again i just really chalk that up to how much weight there is here um, and you know what this thing absolutely flies when you put your foot into it and yes it does have launch control so check out a launch okay folks time to try launch control here in the trx so you hit the launch button it says launch enabled. It has a whole list of criteria you have to meet. For instance, steering wheel straight, full brake pressure, and then what you do is go full brake, full throttle, release the brake. Here we go. Full brake, full throttle, release, go! <laughs> oh my goodness. This truck is re ridiculous the way it launches is just hilarious i mean it has launch control because what it's doing is you know it's making every single parameter just perfect so that you get an epic launch no tire spin whatsoever everything is just absolutely locked in so that when you take off you get extreme acceleration plus in this thing one of the hilarious parts of this truck is the supercharger whine and when you launch it's all right there so yes power is ridiculous put your foot into it and it takes off the supercharger whine sounds awesome and hilarious um, no one is surprised to hear me say that so let me talk about some other things first of all just driving down the road what you notice right away more than anything is the width this is a big 
wide truck and uh, yes you're very aware that you're taking up basically the entire lane now you do get little marker lights up there in your hood scoop and those are actually required by law you have to have those on any vehicle over 80 inches wide that's why the Raptor has them that's why heavy-duty trucks have them that's why the TRX has them so you feel that width when you're sitting in this truck and driving it no doubt about that but besides that I mean the beauty of it is how livable it is it feels a little floatier through the corners definitely softer but not to the point where it makes it hard to drive not to the point where you know it's so imprecise that you're struggling to kind of get around a corner okay um yeah when you don't want to drive it like a super truck it just cruises down the road like a nice regular truck the exhaust is even nicely muted at low speeds and doesn't really start yelling until you really crank up the throttle we can look at the cameras here now on the TRX. So first of all, yes, you do have a forward facing camera. That's your nose cam. And you do have those active wheel guidelines to show you exactly where your wheels are going to end up. Then we'll pop the truck down into reverse and you can see the rest of the camera views. Top down and a rear view, straight rear wide, straight front wide, front and the top down view. And then of course your hitching view plus the zoom in so you can get that hitch right underneath that trailer. Now let me tell you about the three new technology features that have been introduced here on the TRX, but actually have already been announced for the rest of the Ram lineup. First of all, we have a rear camera mirror. Now, of course, other brands have this. General Motors has it, so it's not new in the industry. Um, but you know what? Ram's implementation of it is very good. It's a really nice looking picture. And the thing I always like about these camera mirrors is that you can turn them on and then you can turn them off. I have to say, it's a little strange at first for your eyes to get used to the motion of the screen. It's just not the same as a regular mirror. So I always appreciate that you can just flick it and go back to a regular mirror um, but the other cool thing here is you can adjust the brightness and then the height of that camera so yes there's some adjustability to it the next technology is trailer steering so once again Ford already has this with its pro trailer backup assist it's very simple turn the knob to the right the trailer will go right and vice versa there's a difference though between this system and the Ford's here in the Ram there's no manual inputs necessary you don't have to tell the truck how long the trailer is you don't have to put any stickers on the trailer for the truck to see you simply hook your trailer up and that trailer steering system will be ready to go that is super cool and then the final feature is a head-up display once again GM beat them to this in pickup trucks but man I don't know why there aren't head-up displays on every single vehicle head-up display makes so much sense it's so easy to get your information really quickly while you're driving this head-up display looks good it's got all the proper adjustability for height and for brightness um, and, and especially in a truck that is designed to do such ridiculous speeds when you are moving at those speeds you don't have the time to be looking down at your gauges and really focusing on them so having the head-up display means you can get your information like that and then keep on moving um, I'm a huge fan and I'm very happy it's here in the TRX and even happier that it's gonna spread throughout the Ram lineup now folks it's time for the off-roading FCA Canada set up just a little off-road course for us but it was enough to get a good feel for the truck we got to jump in a little bit we got to hit some whoops and uh, I actually shot dad out there while he did a bunch of loops so most of the jumps you're about to see is dad out there jumping so make sure you uh, give him props down there in the comments for giving her all right truck king you ready to rip I'm ready to fly okay I want to see some flying okay Okay folks, now it's time for off-road here in the TRX. Uh, FCA Canada has set up a little off-road course for us, including two jumps, some whoops, and it's been raining, so there's lots of mud out here today too. And uh, we're gonna go jumper right now, so let's do it. So obviously off the line, there's just loads of power. We're on the gravel here. We're looking to hit this jump around 65 kilometers an hour, right about there, little tap. <laughs> and it just flies so nice um, of course the way it lands is the most important part and uh, because of those active dampers the truck is just able to absolutely stiffen up when you're flying through the air so it's ready when you come back down and uh, it, it feels like landing on a big old pile of pillows 
There's a bunch of marshmallows in the suspension, I think. And that's exactly what you want for a big, heavy truck like this. Don't forget, 6,300 pounds. There is, th this truck has no business flying as good as it does. So we're going for our second jump here. Build up a bit of speed. She definitely pushes through the corner. She's heavy. Get a little bit of gas there. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Nice. And I mean, there's so much power underneath your right foot that you're able to just approach that ramp and then just nail it at the last second and you really just feel it absolutely take off. Um, yeah, when it comes to just the, the power and the jumps, so far, there's nothing to complain about. This TRX is amazing. There's no doubt that when you are off-road and what we're in today is really slick, one of, if you want to call it a downside, is just that there's so much power here, you really have to be gentle with it. You have to realize that you can just lose traction so quickly with this much power. So it's not a bad thing, it's just you have to be aware of how delicate you are with this throttle. This is not the kind of truck where you're really digging into it all the time. It's all about being smooth and being very delicate with it. Well, straight out of the TRX. How'd you jump? Un freaking believable. You're flying. Lands like a bag of marshmallows. It's nice. just un incredible. Nice. Incredible. I could have done that all afternoon. Okay, we're gonna hit some whoops now. That's just about 40. <laughs> so those were big whoops at 40k. And sure it shook us around in here, but man, the 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 damping force is just unbelievable. Um you know, if we were in Baja, you'd be hitting five miles of whoops like that, and, and this truck feels like it would just eat it up all day long. Well, you saw it there. I don't know what else to say besides off-road. This thing is just a monster, and we just got a little tiny taste for what it would do. The whoop section was, you know, 30 feet long. I would have preferred four miles of whoops, because that's when you really get a feel for it. I, I just, I got a taste and it wasn't enough. I cannot wait to get this TRX back on home turf and uh, really put it through its paces. But for now, it's enough to say that Ram has built a, a, an epic Raptor competitor. Absolutely epic. Finally, let me hit you with two numbers that I actually think are the least important on this truck fuel economy and price. Fuel economy here in Canada comes in at 19.8 liters combined, 22.4 in the city, and 16.5 on the highway. And I'll throw the MPG up right here. She is a thirsty beast, and you should expect nothing less. Now when it comes to pricing, it's actually a little different between Canada and the States. So here in Canada, the truck starts at $94,000. Now we actually get the TR1 equipment package as standard. So in the States, you can get a TRX with cloth seats. You can't get that here in Canada. The TR1 package is already equipped standard, so you get leather, some other interior appointments. And then if you wanna bump up to the TR2 luxury package, it's another four grand, bringing the Canadian price up to $98,000. This truck is not cheap, uh, and you know what, we can sit here and talk about value, but I don't think it matters one bit. If you can afford this truck, you're buying it because it's a ridiculous toy, and uh, even at that price, I don't think you're going to be disappointed for even a second. Well folks, our day with the TRX is done. This truck is a ridiculous amount of fun. Unnecessary, sure, but that doesn't mean that when you're out there jumping, you don't have the biggest smile on your face. Now, is it better than a Raptor? I won't say better, but the fact that it actually straight up competes with the Raptor finally means that Ford isn't sitting up there above all the rest of the off-road trucks on its own. So everybody, that is it for this one. Why don't you go below, leave us a comment, let us know what you think of the TRX. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to the Truck King YouTube channel to see what we're testing next. See ya.